one. Hey everybody, Callan Bentley from Piedmont Virginia Community College. I'm in Montana and I'm in the Madison Range. In fact, behind me is the Madison River, or should I say where the Madison River used to be. Um, this is a really interesting place called Earthquake Lake. And if you look down at the lake here, um, you'll see that there's something interesting. There's a whole bunch of trees poking out of the lake. Those trees were all alive and perfectly happy when the sun set on August 17th, 1959. But just before midnight that night, uh, a huge earthquake struck this area, a magnitude 7.5 quake that was centered at Hebgen Lake, a different lake, uh, that was further upstream. So Hebgen Lake existed prior to the earthquake, and in fact, that was a source of some concern because um, it's made by an earthen dam and they were worried that that dam might fail and Hebgen Lake might rush down the Madison River. But it turns out that an even greater catastrophe was playing out here. If you look at the, the far range of mountains there, you see a big bare spot. That is where a whole bunch of schist and dolomite detached from the north face of the, um, the valley wall there and slid down and across the valley. And if you look across the valley on the um, south face, where there are some cars coming over there, you see another bear patch. And that's the landslide run-up that sloshed up the opposite side of the valley wall. So the estimates are that there was something like 27 million cubic meters of rock that moved in this landslide. And unfortunately, there was a campground uh, right where the landslide landed. Um, so tragically, um, several dozen people lost their lives when suddenly they were crushed to death by all that rock. People who were just outside the zone where the rock fell reported tremendous winds, 100 mile per hour winds that they claim ripped the clothes from their bodies. Uh, they were so powerful. And so after the shaking stopped and these winds died down and people were, you know, in the middle of the night trying to figure out what the heck had happened, then the water started rising because the Madison River had been dammed by that landslide and now a new lake was starting to form upstream of that dam. That lake is this lake you see here. It's called Earthquake Lake. And um, it is 64 years old next month.